Elon Musk's neural link received the green light for human brain implants. Of course, such scientific advances could have a potential positive impact on humanity. Allegedly, this brain implant can bring back mobility for people with spinal cord injuries or could potentially cure even Parkinson's disease. So the positive benefits are clear for those who suffer from such conditions. However, like many other scientific discoveries, this also has the potential for negative ramifications. Science is merely a tool. Humans use the science in moral or immoral ways. So science in itself does not have a moral compass. Of course, we can speak about the risks of hacking or potential issues during the implant procedure and so on, but that is not what I'm focused on. Let me explain. So most people who do not need such an implant will undoubtedly reject such procedures, at least in the beginning. But what will happen if these procedures are successful and the technology is developed to a point that those who have the implant have instant access to all online information? What will happen then? Imagine you are going to a job interview against someone that has this brain implant. If you both have similar work and study experience, are you likely to be the one who gets hired? This would apply to any kind of competition, really, that requires your brain to be active and retrieve stored information. So what happens when someone's livelihood is now dependent on this? Meaning, when competition has become too fierce because of these implants, what happens if this technology progresses even to the point that it can detect early on any sign of internal disease, cancer, or other? If the technology has been proven safe, would it start to be attractive then? But the biggest issues for me are the following. First, at what point does a human being stop being a human being created in the image of God? When do we stop living according to God's design? Where do we draw the line? These are very difficult questions to answer. But what I do know is that the so-called need for such extensive access to information and the extension of life on earth seems to be worrisome. It is reminiscent of Adam and Eve's extending their hands to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. They were seeking knowledge and life independent of God. This is the essence of the meaning in scripture, make no mistake about it. The reality is that humanity is still seeking till today to be independent from God. So could this take us to the next level in a decade or two? Who knows? As Christians, we put our lives in God's hands. We are dependent on Him who is Almighty. That is one of the reasons Christ says that we must be transformed into little children to enter the kingdom of heaven. I guess this is all just food for thought.